and welcome back to Microbits and Bobs with Code UK. Been a while since I've done the tutorial for the Microbit, and just when you think you've you've you think you've seen it all, um, someone comes along with something a little bit more interesting, a little bit more exciting. And I've just discovered that in the latest release of App Inventor, they've included um, an extension for the BBC Microbit, so we can truly now do um, the Internet of Things. So what I'm going to quickly sort of show you here is, is taken straight from their tutorial. I take no credit for any of this. Um, I've nicked from the tutorial. There was a couple of bugs in the tutorial that I, I've, 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 I'll point out as I've been going along. Um, the web page I'm using is this one here, Microbit Tutorial, um, for temperature. And I've run this sample project, the one I'm looking at, and I'll point out the error that I found in it. Um, it's just download the sample project here. There is a mistake in the how-to. Um, if I come down the how-to, it talks about the Arduino here, but you just swap that out for the right block for the microbit block. Um, it's it's really really good. So uh, let's have a quick look at what we've got. Just show how simple it is. Any of us who've taught GCC in the past, certainly OCR, will will be familiar with um, App Inventor. We used it for a couple of pieces of coursework. So I've got a basic um, App Inventor screen here. I've got the um, the extensions on. I've imported the extension. Um, all you need to do um, in the the help file, um, there is a link to the to the URL for the extension. Um, I was just showing you. Um, there's the link for the URL. I downloaded it and then imported it manually. Um, let's go back, and we've got the Bluetooth low energy link on, and we've got the, uh, the temperature probe here. So in my blocks, these are the blocks. Now this is taken straight from the example. The only bit I found, it, it wouldn't work with mine, um, it wouldn't update the temperature, so I had a look at the blocks and I found this extra block here that allowed me to adjust um, the, the the time that the mic bit requests for the data to come back. So I've dropped that down to 500 milliseconds. This wasn't in in the example and I was getting no data. Now I don't know if that's because I was getting no data because it wasn't working, or getting no data because it wasn't actually updating. Um, so there's no change for it to send. So I've just changed it to force to check every 500 milliseconds. That's the only additional bit I've added. So we've got scanning the Bluetooth, finds the device, we've got the stop scan, um, we've got the the bit that requests the, the, the data here, disconnect, and the, the bit that displays it on the screen. So this is it's not my work, it's just taken straight from a tutorial. If we look at um, PXT, this is all you need for PXT, this is what goes on your micro bit. So when my program starts, it scrolls temperature and then it'll T, and then it starts the Bluetooth temperature service. Um, when I connect, I get a C, when I disconnect, I get a D, so I know it's working. And then what I've done is I flash it to my micro bit, I put the app on my phone, and I put my micro bit in my fridge. So we're going to see what the temperature of my fridge is. So let's take it from there. Okay, so hopefully we can see this. Um, I've actually put the micro bit in my fridge, and we can see the temperature there is uh, is dropping down. So my fridge is in the back room. So I'm about 50 meters away from my fridge. No, I'm not. Uh, 20 meters away from my fridge. Um, it's in there. Date is dropping. I've connected my fridge to my micro bit to my phone. How awesome is that? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll I'll add the uh, the App Inventor and the PXT files to this. Oh, it's disconnected. I think it's just got a little bit cold. But uh, thanks for watching. I've taken the micro bit out of the fridge. It was getting a bit cold, I think, and I'm a bit far away. So I'm just going to the two together. So I'm scanning. There's the micro bit. Stop scan. Connect. Connected. And obviously it's out of the fridge now, and we should see that temperature rise. I reckon this is brilliant. Absolutely outstanding. Well done, um, new guys at MIT with App Inventor.